Morning. Tuesday, English. Let's get cracking. Um, how are things and spellings, first of all? The morning was dull today. So, this should be the first one. That's morning as if you are in morning. So, uh, if you're upset, if you've lost some someone, um, you're, you're, you're sad for a while. So, of the anagrams, ness suffix. We've got tidiness. And we've got, and this one was awkward at first, nastiness. Verb forms. We we was going to be late. We is going to be late. Now, I realise these have been too easy. So, it's neither of those. It's we were going to be late. I just, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Dave were there or Dave was there. Should be Dave was there. Use a verb form of run for this. So, Dave as fast as he could. So it's not Dave run as fast as he could. So you still got to use the word run there. You can't just use the word sprint or something. Uh, Dave ran as fast as he could. And then the verb form of wash. Mr. Cooper was wash the dishes. So it should be washing. So Mr. Cooper was washing the dishes for Amy. Which is correct. So we've got Dave's coat was wet. Or well, Dave's coat was wet would be the last one because the coat belongs to Dave. So we've got our uh, singular possessive apostrophe. What type of apostrophe is this, though? The children's classroom was clean. Now, it may look the same as that one, but remember, children is plural. So you're telling me that the classroom belongs to all the children, so that is plural possessive. Okay. And then correct this. Jesus' followers couldn't find his sandal. So, they're Jesus' followers. So you have an apostrophe in between the two S's. There is also a rule where if you want to, you can put an apostrophe just after the first S and not have the second S at all. And that signifies the double S. I'm not a fan of that because it looks very much like a plural possessive apostrophe. Um, but it, it, yeah, so I, I would stick to, to, to doing it like that. But there is another way with double S, with S's at the end. And then there should be a, uh, an apostrophe and couldn't, because it should be could not. Right, on to today. Hopefully you uh, watched my... Oh, actually, I don't need that yet. Hopefully you watched the uh, Immerse and Waggle videos. Um, I got an email from Mrs Croft um, yesterday that just simply read one line. Just seen the vampire video, my house is in stitches. Which is nice. Um, and I'm glad actually, I'm glad it was meant to be a bit silly, I felt a bit silly on Sunday, so I thought why not, so uh, and I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it just, you know, I hope it made you giggle, because to be fair, you guys are sending me some videos that are making me giggle at the moment, um, so I thought I'd return the favour. Right, um, now obviously you've got a short to eat this week with the bank holiday on Friday, being VE day, um, so today we're going to go straight into generating the vocabulary, and then tomorrow we'll be having a draft, and then Thursday we'll be writing it. So, you know how this goes, vocabulary, language, if you don't have powerful vocabulary and, and powerful language, the text isn't going to be great, okay? It's very rare that you get a text that doesn't have good description um, that you feel hooked to. It does happen, but it's rare. So, here's what I think you should do today. Now, you've got loads of different ways of doing it. I've shown you loads of different ways to do it at home. You know, we had the sword and the stone, we drew our objects. Um, for Tangled, we had, you know, what you can see, what you can hear, what you can, what you can touch, what you're thinking. Any of those will work. On the sheet today, I've given you three rough pictures, because the story itself doesn't move from many places. You're not giving me a three page, th you know, a four page, um, full on story where something happens. It is literally you find a path, you build up the tension with a setting. And then there's a house in front of you. So you might just want to do each scene. So you might just want to do, you might just want to say, like, you know, pathway. And what we sometimes do at school, remember, think of something from that scene. So it might be, um, you know, it might be unknown, mysterious, forgotten. 
and just let your brain just kind of build up from, from each other and just see where it goes. Then you've got a bit of an option there, you could use that. Um, you know, maybe it's um, maybe it's dark, or maybe a tunnel. Um, maybe you can't see. Maybe it's uh, shrouded. Shroud, shroud, shrouded, shrouded. I'm gonna check how you spell that. In darkness. Okay, so you can start really simply. And then your brain might just start to think of how you can make it a bit better, a bit more interesting, okay? You might not want to do it like that. You might still want to do what you can see, what you can hear. Oops, sorry, I can't see that. And do it that way. And to be fair, that might work, but you might want to do it for each one. So you might want to do the right pathway. What can I see? What can I hear? Or, or you know, your intro, okay? But I'm going to leave you to that today. Don't forget, you've got all that, all the um, language and vocabulary from our displays in the classroom on the blog. If you scroll down far enough, um, you'll find the link. There'll be some really good ones for this today because we've got lots of dark ones from A Christmas Carol, from when we did that Star Wars one. Um, there, there'll be some really good ones for, for this, I think. But I'm going to leave you with this. You you know, you guys know how to generate your own vocabulary and the, one, the writing that I'm putting on the blog is a very good example of that. I'm looking forward to Thursday because I know you guys like writing tense, dark things. So, get generating. Think of personification. Personification, make make objects and feelings actual as if they are beings. Because then you are running away from, you know, fear was chasing you. Like that, you know, you could jazz that up a bit more. You know, like mine, the, the tree, the fingers, the gnarled... Uh, branches of the trees were like witch's fingers grabbing at me. If the trick with tension and dark things is if you personify objects and feelings as if they're all after you, if everything's going to get you, or it feels like everything's going to get you, or everything's watching you, okay? So there's just some little little tips there, all right? But good. So get generated, nice, dark, tense, similes, personification, powerful language, Good vocabulary, okay? And good luck with that.